Hey there Gaming Wars, it's Chief Rocky here with another episode of Imperion Galactic Survival. Back to building the Thunderous Might, the great ship slash tank mover. I hope, I hope it to be great. <laughs> uh, but the last time uh, we were on, we were building with some commentary from Span, just, you know, kind of building and chatting. Uh, I went ahead and I kind of rounded off some edges and added a tail fin that was on the original design in Space Engineers right here. So we're going to continue on um, adding these little slope designs. So it was kind of, how can I say, uh, a pyramid scheme, but with rounded edges, not the actual slopes. Not the uh, angled slopes, but the rounded, rounded slopes. Uh, I thought it was completely different from what was being done everywhere else <laughs> at the time. No one really uses these rounded slopes for anything, so I thought I would give it a shot and uh, I ended up liking what I built. Again, this thing won't be meant for combat at all. It's basically just going to be a giant transport ship. I'm actually excited to see how it turns out in Imperion. So far, everything that I've uh, built in Space Engineers I brought over here, the Xmidia, the Zliz, um, I'm pretty pleased with it, you know? It could have gone worse, for sure. So hopefully I get to uh, use this ship as intended. I might have to create a purpose for it. <laughs> Whether it's, you know, just us pirates messing about with each other or whatnot, but we'll, we'll figure out a purpose for this, for this craft. I'll tell you that much. Let me come back up here to the bridge area. Build this in. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish up, obviously, the uh, skeleton. And then we're going to start placing thrusters in the locations I want them. I like placing the thrusters uh, first, because then I can build the spaces around it. You know, I can isolate the thrusters uh, basically from the rooms so it doesn't cause any heat. Or radiation issues in that space. Uh, if, if, for example, you know I don't have a, a giant thruster sticking out into a little medical bay, and it doesn't really do anything for you when it when it comes to, to medical stuff. You know what I mean? You're just getting sick in there. So I'll try to isolate that stuff. Yeah, put it in its own little own little area. It's easier to do when I have the thrusters and I can basically build spaces around them. So I usually, uh, my tactic of building actually, my strategy is to build the shell first. And then once I get the shell, I do everything else first. Or after. Blah, blah, blah. Words. They're hard people. So the bridge will be here, obviously. Now one thing that the Thunderous Might did not have in Space Engineers was a dedicated SV landing, which I'm thinking about adding. That should be pretty cool. So, the original Thunders might have some turrets on the top. Uh, it was basically a bombardment ship for, for planets in, in uh, space engineers. 
after the last last episode talking to Spanch, we realized we came to the conclusion that it can't really fulfill that role uh, on this on this game because those weapons are disabled in planetary atmospheres. Those weapons that I had designed this thing to carry on the belly with downward facing camera will not function on planets. So it doesn't really serve as purposes as basically a C-130 heavy bomber. More serves a purpose in this game as a hot drop transport ship. Even though the ship I plan on being uh, just a transport ship, I do want it to be rugged, and I want it to have a bit of a survivability to it, if it makes any sense to anybody. Oh, area's getting a little busy right here. There we go. That's good. I always did like uh, the shape of the ship. Um, I some people say that my designs are ugly. I'm okay with that. I appreciate them. They're different. I know that much for sure. There's a saying, what is it, uh, beauty is in the be in the eyes of the beholder, <laughs> and in my eyes this thing is freaking Pamela Anderson while she was on Baywatch, while she was on Baywatch, not after, because I don't know what happened after, definitely while she was on Baywatch, <laughs> the Baywatch Pam, thank you, thank you, thank you, good to go. Fill in any of that yet. Now we go to the middle section here. These edges. This actually goes farther back. Yeah, so the way I had designed this is this thing literally is almost like a layered cake. all of its intricate uh, little circles or half circles the one big thing I got to try to figure out is how and where we're going to put uh, the hover tank attachment areas if it makes any sense so I might have to just design this thing without those and go onto a planet and like hover above the tanks and put them in locations I think are kind of where we need to put it. It's gonna be kind of weird. We're just gonna have to go with it though. But I know for a fact you can't really use HVs in space. I mean you can't you can't move them up or you can't move them around. To figure that piece out. Alright, let's flip this up. Boom. Boom. 
mess that one up. Let's see. One sucky thing about um, symmetry mode is you can't really remove any blocks quickly unless you're in creative mode, and I'm on the server, which you know it's kind of like cheating if you use creative mode for stuff like this one. If you're supposed to be uh, using your creative abilities to do on your own, so um, I'm not a cheater, so I'm, I'm gonna do it the hard way. Plus, I don't mind. I, even though symmetry mode is an option, I don't really utilize it that much, to be honest with you. bottom part there is a kind of larger turret and a uh, fixed amount of weapons at the bottom of the thunderous mines. No, we didn't take too much steel off. I can't believe that uh got that much back return. I thought, uh, I thought it was a lot less than what I took off. It's like almost 200 some blocks. It's kind of big for what I usually fail. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Perfect.
Alright, Gaming Warrior, so... Reshaping the, uh, the hull to what it looked like in Space Engineers is complete. Alright, uh, there's some minor changes, uh, only because of the, uh, I don't know, the differences in the blocks, maybe? It just seems that, uh, this one seems to be a lot longer and a little bit higher than the one in Space Engineers. I, I think that's because of the blocks. I'm, I'm not really sure. I mean, a different game, uh, just a different take on it. So, uh, I did think in the, the little back wings uh, and the little nose cavity right here. And I'll be doing some changes with these too uh, because this ship's going to be used for something completely different. Uh, those are going to be used for something else. And again, here's the back, uh, like basically like stabilizing wings for flying. Um, and then the tail wing here. And the support spine going all the way down. Um, so yeah, everything's pretty much shaped out to what it needs to be. So now we just need to find the spots for the thrusters. And then go to the whole color coding thing. So... Um, so yeah, like all the thrusters and everything will go in this area, or well, this area will be where, you know, the tanks will latch on and then drop. So I'm kind of excited to see, you know, uh, what, what this ship's going to turn out to be like. I'm very, very, very curious to see what my little mind has for it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Anyhow, um, while I have everybody's attention, correct? Uh, I do want to talk about uh, content, right? So I'm going to be trying to put at least one one video out a week. Okay, if I get more than that, just feel lucky. <laughs> but one a week. Um, that is just because of you know time constraints, and I understand that consistency is something that people look for especially in like their YouTube channels uh, I just I really can't guarantee uh, a level of constant consistency uh, that most other youtubers provide I'm just letting you know so uh, one a week is probably be my max so that is what it is all right so back to the topic of the ship I'm gonna go ahead and blueprint this uh, and I will allow the chassis to be on the Steam Workshop for anybody that wants to use this chassis for any designs that they have uh, that they want to kind of morph this into. So go ahead and do that right now. There we go. There we go. It's acting really slow today. Um, oh my god. Okay, I just realized something. I accidentally saved a uh, attack base Zulu over ADS Hill Day, so I have to fix that later. <laughs> Alright, guys, so let's save this as a new. Save this capital vessel. We want to save this as. And this is going to be an assault attack craft. A AAS 1. Let's put the name first Thunderous. AAS one. So amphibious assault. You know what? That doesn't make any sense. AAC one. Amphibious assault craft. That sounds stupid, guys. I don't like that. <laughs> so let's put uh, atmospheric assault craft. Bam. Alright, so I like that. Atmospheric Assault Craft, Thunderous Might. And let's save it. Let's see if it's saved in the blueprints. I gotta go and delete this one now. Uh. And there it is. Alright, so I'm gonna rename this though as uh, the Chassis. So that I don't get it confused the next time. Uh, let's put Hall. Uh, 
Alrighty. So I'll go ahead and upload this for you guys and uh, you could use the blueprint however you see fit. And uh, next episode we'll be putting in thrusters and possibly interior just so I get the layout and then we'll be painting and texturing everything. Alright guys, that's all I got. Chief Rocky.